Okay, let's try and evaluate this. Here you've got one block times another block. Anytime you see to the power of a negative, extract the negative one. So for example, if you have x to the power of negative three, um, that is the same as um, x to the power of negative one to the power of positive three, because um, x to the power of a to the power of b, that equals x to the power of a, b. So if you get given something complicated, you can break it up as one thing times another thing. So when you have to the power of negative three, you can imagine it as, um, uh, as to the power of negative one times three. So negative one times three is negative three. The point I'm trying to make is that when you see this, it extracts the negative one. So for example, imagine this as two over three to the power of negative one and then to the power of positive three. So, so this block here is the same as this. And then you multiply it, extract the negative one. So imagine this as one over three, uh, one over four, to the power of negative one, and then to the power of positive two, because two times negative one will give you negative two. So we've seen this before, a fraction to the power of a negative, you basically turn it upside down, and I justified that in one of the earlier videos. So when you see this, turn it upside down. The negative one index will actually turn it upside down. So it will look like this, three over two to the power of three. And then, the, and then to the power of negative one, basically turn it upside down, which will be four over one. But four over one is just four. Four over one is just four. So this will be four to the power of two. Okay, so now, now um, uh, a fraction times by itself three times. So in your mind, visualize it as um, in in your mind, visualize it as uh, as this three over two times by itself three times. So uh, so that would be top times top times top. That would be twenty seven. Bottom times bottom times bottom. That would be eight. So this thing here would be uh, twenty seven over eight. And then you times this is sixteen for. Um, four times four is 16, but um, I'm gonna visualize it as um, 16, I'm gonna visualize it as a block of eight times a block of two. Remember, you've got a fraction, this thing here gets multiplied to the top. So now this cancels out with the eight down here. That's why I visualize the 16 as eight times two, because I know this eight here will cancel out with this eight. So really it boils down to 27 times two, which will be um, 54. So that's your final answer. The answer is 54, okay?